this anxious attachment, which is an insecure form of attachment, is a preoccupation with what the other person is doing. And what happens is this inherent anxiety within you doesn't feel safe to a masculine. Constantly anxiously attached going, what is this? What are we doing? I need a this, I need a label, I need... That kind of thing is normal for you to want to be claimed. That's totally normal. But when you become preoccupied and you bring on these senses of clinginess a difficulty in regulating your emotions to share those desires in a way that is inspiring and vulnerable rather than anxiously just being run by these emotions. What happens is if you don't sort that out, the man all of a sudden feels like he's responsible for your emotions. And that will bring up his mother wounding because every little boy takes responsibility for his mother's emotions. And what happens is you're feeding into his repetition compulsion and your anxious attachment and your pushiness and clinginess and neediness is going to activate his avoidance, his fear of engulfment, fear of responsibility. Have you ever had this immense experience where you going into a situation and you're like, oh my God, this is gonna overwhelm the shit out of me. I'm gonna be overly consumed by this person. That's what they feel when you don't know how to regulate your emotions. Now, am I saying to suppress them? No, because there's a fine line. What'll happen is this anxious attachment, if it's unregulated and these shadows aren't integrated, what'll happen is you'll flip to the other side and then you'll become avoidant to those emotions because you don't want to seem neurotic. And this is all a product of this unresolved anxious attachment and going to a therapist and talking to it, our cycle breakers said, I've been talking about my anxious attachment for three years, it's not moving. And that's not your fault, it's because talk therapy doesn't address the training that it is required for you to regulate yourself and lean into self-regulation before communicating.